All right, I'm gonna go ahead and review what y'all did yesterday. So if you have not done this yet, I recommend you go ahead and close this video, go to Wednesday's math assignment and go ahead and do these problems because you're gonna get a lot more out of this if you attempt it first and use this video to kind of check your work. Okay, let's look at number six. It says angle DEF measures 104 degrees was the measure of angle GEF. So first of all, I'm gonna figure out what GEF is by tracing it. Okay, so we have this angle, this is small, and it said DEF is 104, so DEF, so it's saying this whole thing is 104. So we are getting rid of the part that we know to find what's left. So this means it's a subtraction problem. So we have 104, we subtract what we already know, which is 18, and we're going to have to do a lot of borrowing here. So we can't borrow from the tens place, so we have to go all the way to the hundreds place to borrow. So that is going to become a zero. This will become 10, but then we have to borrow from there, so really it will have to become 9, and then we add 10 to the ones place and we get 14 there. Okay, 14 minus 8 is 6, 9 minus 1 is 8. And zero minus zero is zero, so we are left with 86 degrees. So this question mark is 86 degrees. I match and I get B. Okay, number seven. It says four angles like the one below are combined. What is the measure of the new larger angle? Okay, so we're going to have four angles. I want to write that in number form. And it says like the one below. The one below is right here, right? And it's worth 10 degrees, okay? And it says they're combined. What does combined usually mean? Well, combined means that it's getting bigger, right? When you combine things, you don't get something smaller, you get something bigger. So you have options here. Um, you can multiply or you can add. Now, normally combined will mean to add most of the time, but there's a shortcut here because one thing we could do is, yeah, we could add 10 plus 10 plus 10, plus 10 because it says we're going to have 4 like the one below. And that's one way to get the answer, and that'll give you a correct answer, right? Because 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. 40 is the answer to this problem. What's a shortcut, though? Remember that addition and multiplication often go together, so instead you could do 10 times 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is 4. And you get the exact same answer. So either way, it doesn't matter um, which, which way you used, but it is C40. Okay, let's go to 8. Uh, number 8 says, what is the measure of the angle ABC? Okay, let's find what ABC is. A to B to C. Okay, so that's the whole thing, right? We have two parts. We have 10 and we have 45. So we are going to combine those to figure out what ABC is. So 45 plus 10. 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. So the whole thing is 55 degrees. We match, it's B. Okay, let's look here. Angle XYZ is a straight angle. Think back to our Google Meet. What is a straight angle worth? What is this part right here worth? Remember, it's always 180 degrees. And you can remember about that by thinking, what is the highest degree of a protractor? Because the bottom of a protractor is a straight line, right? So the bottom of a protractor, the whole protractor is 180 degrees. Okay, and then it's asking, what is the measure of the mystery angle? Okay, the mystery angle is right here. So it's saying the whole thing's 180. We know this part that we're not looking for is 130, and we need this little part, so we have to figure out what's left over, so that means subtraction. So we take 180 minus 130. 0 minus 0 is 0. 8 minus 3 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have 50 degrees, and we match, and we have C. Okay, last one. Number 10, it says the angle below measures 144 degrees. It is cut into three equal angles. What is the measure of each of these angles? Okay, what is our keywords here? Or, I'm sorry, what are our keywords here? I want y'all think, or I guess you've already done this, so I'll just tell you. So, we have cut, and we have into equal parts, and we're going to cut into three equal parts. Okay, remember, equal often means to divide. Because when you put things in equal amounts, you're dividing them. Okay, so we're cutting it into three equal amounts, and we started with one, 
44 and it wants to know what is the measure of these angles okay so let's divide let's split this 144 degrees into three parts so 144 would go in the box and we're dividing by three so let's go through our steps remember when you divide it's first division then multiplication then subtraction and then you bring the next number down but one more thing whenever you do your first division step sometimes you can't divide just this first number by three does three fit into one no right so we're gonna actually have to divide 14 so how many times does three go into 14 well I know three times four is uh, 12 and three times five is 15 15 is too high right so you'd have to use four here so that's our division step. Three goes into 14 four times without going over. Okay, then we do four times three, which is 12. Now we subtract, 14 minus 12 is two. Okay, and then we bring our next number down, which is 24. Well, it makes 24. Okay, remember you gotta start over unless you didn't bring a number down. We did bring a number down, so we have to do it again. So how many times can three go into 24? What's 24 divided by three? Well, three times eight is 24, right? So we can put an eight here. Then we can do eight times three, which as I, as I said is 24. Okay, now we subtract and get zero. And are there any more numbers to bring down? There aren't. So that's actually your final answer. There's no remainder. So 48 degrees is what you get when you split 144 into three equal parts. So now we match, and it's B. Okay. Um, remember, this is just to kind of check your work. Um, your actual grade activity for this week will be an IXL activity. So go ahead and look at that assignment and look at the picture I attached to see what IXL activity you should work on. All right, thanks guys. Um, that is the last math video for this week, so I will see you next week.